Hello, good day to you wherever you are. Welcome to another episode with Frank here on Archicad. In this video, we are going to be learning how to take a building from the Archicad window like this to the BIMX interface. So the question is, what is BIMX? Well, let's quickly dive into that. Well, um, it's another software package. If you check for where you have Archicad installed, um, it's usually in a folder called Graphisoft right here. You can see that there is not just the Archicad, there is also this. Even if you're not using version 26, you are going to see one for your version as well. And the question is, okay, so what's the use for that? What does it do? Well, this is not Archicad, but this is an Archicad model I made. And I am able to present my work to my clients on this platform. They can view this on their mobile devices, whether it's Android, iOS, or a tablet, or an iPad. More than that, they are also able to visualize this in VR. What I mean by VR is if they got a virtual reality headset, they could put it on and like feel this environment so much more realistically. And BMX is Akikad's most guaranteed way to get that done. You could also do it using Twin Motion, but on Twin Motion, you don't get the rest of your 2D files. Take, for example, over here, I have this folder called Presentation Drawing. In there, there is the site plan, which you can see. Then there is the ground floor plan, there is the first floor, the second floor. There's basically the early perspectives as well. And then there's also the walking drawings as you can see now we have this really detailed site plan that comes with lots of dimensions for setting out the building and placing the pool and then you understand knowing how the land is used and all that then there's all of these and once your client gets the entire package like this it's very convenient to look like look at also take note that if you have issues with PDFs that are really heavy and laggy to load, then this is also going to be a really good option for you because it doesn't take any time at all. Alright, so let's dive into how you get this done. By the way, I said it could be displayed on their devices. So if you've downloaded the, um, let's get, I'm going to just project my phone screen right here. Okay, so this is BMX on my phone displaying the same project. Okay. Now you can also tell that uh, I could visualize this from above. Here's the roof plan. Here's the elevations. And I could just like go back here and then take a look at all of this. Here's that roof plan I mentioned earlier. Here is the cover, the site plan. You could always open this and then you could look at different things from different locations as well that i had clicked was a section marker and i could say okay open the section and then you get that i could go back to where i was earlier um i think that was the site plan from where i had clicked yes this and then i could say show this in 3d and then we get this really impressive view all right so you see how this can be useful to you so your client seeing those 2d draw um, images that <laughs> image is not the right order pdfs and documents that's not very understandable especially for things like section something like this is going to be way more relatable to them and it's also going to allow you to raise your prices considerably so let's dive into how you can get this done all right so i'm going to take this out this and <coughs> My voice is not at its peak. It's, for those who have subscribed already and have listened to my voice in other videos, you'd realize that I rarely speak like this. Well, I'm just recuperating from a mild illness and it really affected me for a while. Let's dive into that once again. So, make sure you've done your modeling completely and that you don't have any other model on your 3D window. Observe that. I've observed that there are certain people who, yeah, when while they are drawing, they make different copies of the plan all over the place. Please avoid doing that. Keep this as simple as possible. Then two, make sure that you've arranged your drawings as though they were to be published on the layout book. If you've not learned how to do this, I have a video that I have a, 
already in my channel where that is covered so make sure you watch that if you don't already know how to do it so for the items we have here you could see we have a site plan we have a floor plan we have elevations and these were done in a hurry just for this video not even this very video there was a speed video i did where i showed how to quickly get things done on archicad and this was done as part of that so now i'm going to be converting this to that bmx format so after doing this next you want to do is open your organizer you click on this last icon we have right here and then click show organizer and on the organizer you want to show two different items one is going to be the view map the second one is going to be the layout um, the publisher yes i forget so view map right here the default is usually um in the project map that's not what we want here we want view map here we want publisher please be very clear about that then the next thing you want to do is move out of the layout come over here where you can see everything okay then select observe that from on the views there's also some of these other ones that are probably less organized so i tend not to utilize them on the publisher most of the time i just like take it out and then leave the layouts so these layouts really contain everything by default it's not likely you're going to see the physical model or structural and physical model in your own so if you want them there what you're going to do is um by the way you could always close these subfolders here till you find what it is you want to move so in this case for example i want a physical model let's assume it wasn't here i'm taking these two away delete anyway so when i pick this i can say i could just drag it to this place or i could add shortcuts and you see it appear twice so i'm going to take this other one away here yeah. then there's the structural model which i don't think we have a need for in this particular scenario all right so when you have all of this done the next thing you want to do as i said go back out till you are going to see this as one book to be published per se all of these down here are treated as different books so go into the publishing properties and then make sure that your publishing method is to save files and you are going to create a single file not a real folder structure not a flat file structure one single file and the format is going to be bmx hyper model not pdf all right the info set should be single selection then you can set a location that's to local file system not to the bmx cloud set a location to where you want that stored and then you can give it a name in this case i'm going to say mr mr black <laughs> Mr. Black Beam X or Mr. Black Presentation. Let's go with that. All right. I don't think that's shown. All right. Presentation. Okay. So once you have this, you say, okay. What you did was the publishing property. And then what you want to publish is the selected set. So once you do that, you click on publish. And then you see that it starts processing all of these for the main sheets they really take time the one sheet you need to be bothered about it's not really a sheet it's that 3d window because archicad has to do the job of converting what it has on the 3d window into a format that bmx is able to read and hyperlink now what do i mean by hyperlink if you observe when i was looking at the bmx model let's get back here while archicad does this thing um right now it's not even responding because of that 3d parts typically it takes about a minute or thereabouts so look at the fact that these are um level markers are highlighted that's because when i click on this i can see that this applies to the roof plan so i could say open and you see you i'm able to reference one drawing from the other this is a section that is tag so one i could click here and say open and what happens the section opens up okay so i could click on this as well and then say show this in 3d and then it shows me this roof plan and then relates it to the 3d model this is just on another level and you wouldn't regret using this for your clients it's going to be a game changer that i can guarantee all right so i think akikad is pro okay still working 
Then, while the work is ongoing, let me say at this point that if you've not joined our WhatsApp group, then I don't know what's holding you back. Subscribing to this channel is one step of the way to reach hearing from me as soon as possible. But being on that group as well implies that if you have anything that's really bugging you on Akikad, rather than go start searching on YouTube or something, drop a question there. As soon as I'm online, I'm going to pay, uh, respond to it. And trust me, if it's Akikad, I can get it done. And get it done really quickly as well. So... Um, feel free to join that group. Feel free to ask questions. There are certain things that might not require me to go and do like a 10 minute video like this or 20 minutes and I don't even know if this video is going to be 10 minutes by the way. But there are things that could be resolved with just a simple one minute voice note or we could even hop on a call and then try to resolve that as quickly as possible. So the link to the whatsapp group is in the description of this video if you have any difficulties joining put them in the comments and i should find a way to resolve that for you all right this is taking still longer than i had assumed and that's bothering me well while that's ongoing let me still explore some of the things you would actually enjoy with the bmx so i'm going to go back to the schedule all right okay now that i have this i have done the window schedules for that building and when i click on any one of these items here you can see that they have hyperlinks as well what i mean by hyperlinks are the fact that they are highlighted in blue that's a very simple way to just look at it so when i click on this window or this door or any of them i can tell from here that there are 10 in quantity and then so there are seven in quantity all of them highlighted as w07 so when i click on this i could show all of them in 3d and then identify them where they are located so there's like one two three four five six seven okay and that can be really helpful but it doesn't end there now i could select this wall you could see now that there's a different wall item here and another one over here and that helps my clients understand that the building is going to be well high enough so that these walls can conceal the roof that's the main reason why there's an asset of walls up there and there is supposed to be reinforcement to connect them if you're going to lay masonry blocks for this kind of height structurally you are doing yourself no good at all so when you are explaining something like that to them this is a good way to visualize it so when i click on this it doesn't end there i could right click and get certain information about it okay now i hadn't filled that in for this particular project because well the, i just need the client to get the 3d information but he could from here as well know how many square meters that wall is in some um, you could also get the number of bricks that you can see that we have an expression here that says brick type and measures number of bricks I have done a video which you probably might have seen by now if you've not really checked that out and I don't know why the 3d is Each time I don't really touch it for a while. It just displays that way. Okay, so um, This uh, What was it called? number of bricks can tell him that okay for this particular section of the building it's going to take six bricks to get it done and then and Akikad can help me evaluate that very quickly so i could by the way another thing is it could help in navigation i could be somewhere far away like this and then click at the roof of this small bush bar we have and click go to and what Akikad does is like it quickly helps me carry the camera to that exact location and this will be helpful for those who don't know how to navigate this window with ease. I guess Akika should be done by now. Alright, so yes, so the BMX package has been saved. The total file is 47 megabytes. I would say close and then let's go preview it. Um was that Photoshop? I didn't intend to open Photoshop. Alright, so it's here on the desktop. Um I think I saved it with Mr. Black. Alright, so here it is. So I'm just going to double click to open it on BMX and it opens a new window by the way, so it doesn't interrupt with the one we we're looking at earlier. And now here we have this. 
So in here are all the sheets from the cover page to the sheets index. Okay, so we have this. Then there's the site plan, the floor plans. You see, just the way we're able to assess the other one, and of course the model. You could click on this to view it in 3D, and it's just going to take some seconds to load. This will be way faster than how it's happened on Archicad. And here we have it. So you could see it's retained Archicad's texture information, and everything looks really nice now if you are viewing it on your phone it's the experience is going to be slightly different because of course you're not controlling with your mouse you'll be controlling with your hands and if you're wondering what these guys are flying about all over the place well they are here to help us to go between different sheets so this represents where we have the front elevation so i could say open and what it does is like it just helps us view that front elevation real fast and then there's the back end all of that so you could just copy i'm thinking i'm going to do that through or no but you could copy this to your phone and then open it from the bmx if you don't have bmx installed um phone is locked if you don't have bmx installed feel free to go to the google play store if you are using a an apple phone an iphone then you check on the apple store it's free to download so if you search beam x just like that you could see that there is this and i already have it installed already. there's an update i haven't gotten so staying up to date is also going to be really helpful to you and you can see some of these previews to show that it does a lot of really impressive stuff all right so if you've not added this to your workflow and your client relationship feel free to do that if you found value in this and you've not subscribed up to this point please subscribe leave a like if you have anything you need to clarify on mention it in the comments and i'll be happy to help and you can join the whatsapp group as i said if you have some more pressing matters that said i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye